A lot of the times we want to become creators of our reality. We want to step into a space where we are consciously dictating our life and we're creating the life that we really want. That's what we want to step into, right? We want to create our reality the way that we want. We don't want some external unconscious force to be controlling us. We want to be fully in control of our reality, right? We want to fully step into that creative power. We want to fully create our reality, become empowered. But oftentimes what happens is that's not what we're doing. Reality is actually controlling us. So we're not creating our reality. Reality is unconsciously working through us, not in a good way. There's a way to work with reality, let the divine consciousness flow through you. But there's also a way where reality is just doing things on autopilot, which is not at all something that I encourage a person to live into. And of course, they, they wouldn't do it consciously because that's the whole problem is that the, sometimes we think we're in control, but actually we're in reaction to our environment. We're in reaction to even our own emotions. We're in reaction to the external circumstances. I'm here to tell you right now in this video, none of this has to be the case because in fact, you are a creator. You don't have to be in reaction to your life. You can become a creator of your life. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to be extremely unreactive and to step into your power to really step into that space of fully being in your creative power 100%, not 50%, not 60 or like just fully in your power. That's exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video, how to be extremely unreactive and step into your power. So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is I want you to hit that subscribe button. I want you to hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me one on one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. So this is going to sound really backwards and counterintuitive. So just hear me out. This is going to sound so counterintuitive. This first point in this video is backwards to what the mind thinks. It's completely the opposite of what you might think right now. So just keep in mind that what I'm about to share with you might strike a little like that doesn't make any sense. You might have that for just a second. The first point is reactions in your life are not the reason you're not being unreactive. You reacting is not the issue. It's like that might seem a little bit confusing. It's like, wait, wait, that doesn't make any sense. I came to this video to be unreactive and you're telling me that reactions are OK. That's exactly what I'm saying. And I'm going to expand upon that in a second so that you understand and have more clarity around what I mean exactly. What I'm saying is that reactions are a part of life. Again, it might seem confusing. Just stick with me. I encourage you to watch this video until the end because it might spark something within you to make you realize that there's a deeper part of you that doesn't have to react to life, which is very powerful to step into. So I encourage you to stick till the end of this video to really let this sink in at the highest level because it might take a little bit for it to sink in. So reactions are not the issue. Reactions are not your problem. E Again, it might seem confusing. Just stick with it. Emotions are not the problem. Having some sort of reaction or pattern pop up in your life is not the problem at all. In fact, it has nothing to do with you not being able to be unreactive. Anger is not stopping you from being unreactive. Feeling negative emotion is not stopping you from being unreactive. Having whatever comes up in your field of consciousness has nothing to do with you being unreactive. What we're talking about here is an understanding that what we need to start to do to be unreactive to life is first to develop a different relationship to reactions itself. Let me expand upon that. So we go through life. Most of the times 
we're in reaction mode. But it goes a step higher because most people aren't just angry, they are angry about the fact that they're angry. They're in reaction to their reactions. This is how most people live. Most people are literally in reaction to the fact that they're reacting. They're in reaction to their life and then they're reacting to the fact that they're reacting to their life. It's just a, it's just a layers upon layers upon layers of resistance. It's resistance and then resistance about resistance. I'm, you know, angry about the fact that I'm angry. I'm angry about this. I'm angry. That's like, it just never stops. It's just this never ending cycle of, like, imagine you're literally taking gasoline. I always use this analogy and are just throwing it into the fire. That's all you're doing. That's all that you're not saying you, that's, that's what the ego does. The ego adds fuel to the fire. So it's nothing personal if you're doing this. Don't take it as like a, don't guilt or shame yourself or attack yourself and don't take it as an attack from me. It's nothing personal if you realize you do this. It's just the mechanism of the ego and how the mind is actually developed to be in this reality at this time. So you want to understand that reacting is not the issue. Reacting to reactions is the issue. So what's the solution here? It's like, it's like whoa, Francis, actually that makes sense. Maybe you're realizing as I'm saying this, that yes, you might be angry sometimes, but also you're angry about the fact that you're angry. You might feel guilt and shame for feeling anger. You might be resisting the fact that you feel anger. You might be fighting the emotions in your life versus allowing them to come in. That is reactivity to reactivity. If what I'm saying is hating you right now, what you have to understand is that actually what is the first solution, like you're thinking, what is the solution? The solution is to change our relationship to the emotions we feel. To change our relationship to reactivity. So what's the first step? The first step is to understand that actually it's okay to feel a reaction, but the, the way you become unreactive is to ask yourself, what is my relationship to this emotion? Do I label it as bad? Do I label it as good? Do you have some story around that emotion and why you shouldn't be feeling that emotion and why maybe it shouldn't be part of my experience or what, this is the worst thing that happens on the spiritual path. Oh, I'm so spiritual that I should be feeling good right now. That's a deadly, deadly trap. Well, I'm going to record a whole video on that, on the spiritual ego and the deception of the spiritual ego. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta remove that spiritual ego out of the way because you are allowed to feel an emotion. Okay. I'm going to say that one more time. You are allowed to feel an emotion. The question is, what is your relationship to your emotions? And it's an interesting question that I'm asking you because if I'm asking you, what is your relationship to an emotion? Who is this you that is developing a relationship with an emotion? Like, who is that you? It's like, if I'm saying you are, it's like, what is your relationship to your emotions? Doesn't that imply that there's, it's like that, that question makes sense. It's like, okay, what's my relationship to my emotion? And you start thinking, but you can't think about the answer to that question. You have to actually step into the, like, do you see how that question immediately implies that we're going with the premise that actually you are not your emotions. You are not that reactive pattern. That reactive pattern is not you and it never was you, but your ego, what the ego is, is when we lose ourselves in the emotional pattern and we become the pattern. This is the ego identity. So if this question is sparking something within you, actually it's with a purpose because that question is designed to create spaciousness between who you really are and the emotion. Your relationship to your emotions is you creating spaciousness between you and your emotions. And that is you becoming conscious of the fact that you are a creator and you are not the pattern. So what does this all come down to? This comes down to what is your relationship to your emotions? Do you have a story around why you shouldn't be feeling these emotions around why these emotions shouldn't be the case around why you shouldn't be experiencing this emotion? All of that is just stories upon on top of stories 
on top of more stories, on top of stories about stories and resist. It's like all of that is stopping you from your creative potential. And the more that you can be unreactive to your emotions, like Francis, you haven't even told us how to do it. That's the thing. The exact moment you realize you are not your emotion and you find that spaciousness, immediately that space, like, like it, it takes you out of the illusion. It, 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 like it pulls you out of the abyss of the unconsciousness you were in a moment ago. Because when we're in our emotions, like it's a distinction between realizing that you're inside of a pattern and you're completely lost in the emotion. You don't know what your relationship is to the emotion. You're just judging the emotion unconsciously. And then it's like, hey, 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 slow down for a second. You're, I know you're experiencing negative emotions. You might be experiencing all sorts of negativity. I understand. I have that compassion for you. Slow down for a second. What's your relationship to this emotion? You shift back into that spaciousness. You realize that you are not the emotion. That spaciousness wakes you up for a second. In that moment, you're unreactive to that emotion. Now, the more you're stuck in those ego patterns, the harder it is to get out of that because that question creates a little bit of spaciousness, but you need to develop that spaciousness. That question might create a little glimpse of, oh, that makes sense. What he's saying actually makes sense. But then immediately you get sucked back into it. That's when it's your job to know how to manage your energy and give, give yourself that consciousness and awareness of who you really are and practice that on your own terms. I can give you those glimpses. I can give you that understanding. I can ask you the right questions, but it's your job to develop that consciousness within you to realize that you don't have to react to your emotions. You can simply be conscious of them. You can observe them and realize that they are not who you are and never were to begin with, but you thought that they were. This is the game that we're stuck in most people in society. We believe that we are our emotions when they never were us to begin with. They never were you. You just thought they were. And that's what creates the reactive pattern. What takes you out of the reactive pattern is to understand that you don't need to be sucked into the pattern. You can feel it and know that it is not you. It is not you. It never was you. So the way you become extremely unreactive to your life and step into your power as a creator is to allow the reactive pattern to come up and hold that spaciousness. I know maybe it's uncomfortable. Maybe we don't want to feel that spaciousness. We don't, we don't, we don't want to do it. Like you might have an uncomfortable negative emotion that comes up and you don't want to hold that space. It's hard sometimes it's, 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 I mean, it's not hard. It's, it's, it's like we can resist it. We can resist the resistance. You see what I'm saying? So it sounds like a hard thing to do, but the harder thing to do is to react to the reactions. The easier thing to do is to hold that space of consciousness and allow yourself to fully dive into that feeling without fighting it. That is you being unreactive to your own reactions, if that makes sense the way that I'm saying that. It's a little bit counterintuitive. We don't often want to feel into our emotions, but if you can have the courage to step into that abyss of what you're unconsciously sucked into, you will find a lot of peace and joy there. You'll find a lot of, a lot of, like you'll, you'll find so much peace there because now, now they're not controlling you anymore. You're not scared of being scared anymore. You're not scared of suffering. Most people are scared of their emotions. And guess what that does? It creates more of those emotions because what you resist persists. So the solution is to step back into your truth your non-reactivity to life. Understand that you are what some people call light worker that can literally do alchemy on these patterns and you can begin to step back into the power of who you really are as a conscious creator and somebody that, not somebody, but a divine consciousness that works through the vessel that you are to literally transmute all negative energy, all negative patterns, all emotions, into a higher vibrational 
frequency, okay? So let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. If you really have any questions around this understanding of not being reactive to reactions, because I'm sure you have a lot, very powerful stuff. Leave a comment down below in terms of what your thoughts are on that. So that's all I have for this video. Once again, if you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. And as always, have yourself a great day and I'll see you in the next video.